Thanks for tuning in. I'm the Gangster Nerd, and I'm about to educate you on SCP-062. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-062 is stored in a dedicated containment cell at site <laughs> under clean room conditions. Any experimentation on SCP-062 must receive prior permission from at least two Level 3 personnel and must only be performed with independent power sources. SCP-062 must never be attached to an external network and all data extracted from SCP-062 is to be stored on external non-volatile media until analyzed. Description. SCP-062 appears to be an unbranded personal desktop computer housed in an aluminum case of indeterminal manufacture. SCP-062 is unusually heavy at approximately 24 kilograms and lacks manufacturing or branding labels of any kind. The words, information is freedom, were found scratched into the casing near the back, apparently with a key or similar object. Inspection of its interior have revealed that SCP-062 is empty, except for a blank circuit board in place where the motherboard of a standard personal computer would be. SCP-062 will not function unless the case is completely sealed, and attempts to open the case while it is operating cause it to shut down immediately. Despite this, SCP-062 operates as expected for a normal desktop computer, with the exception that it's performance, operating system, contained data, and language appear to be different upon each activation. SCP-062 was discovered in the basement of the University of <laughs> Computer Science Laboratory by <laughs> an embedded foundation agent seized the object and brought it to site <laughs> where it has since been contained. Addendum 062001 List of Notable Activation Results on date <laughs> description SCP-062 appeared to be running Windows XP in Catalan. Analysis of contained data showed financial records for the <laughs> bank and firm in France for the period of May 1963 to April 1987. These records are inconsistent with actual bank records procured by undercover foundation agents. On date <laughs> Description: SCP-062 appeared to be running Debian Linux in Latin. Contained data consisted of a library of auto-recordings of over <laughs> choral songs and hymns, of which <laughs> are not found in any known collection or have never been performed. On date, <laughs> description, oh, SCP-062 appeared to be running a version of Solaris in Portuguese. Contained data consisted of promotional and marketing materials for <laughs> which appear to be a commercial spaceflight corporation that does not exist. On date, <laughs> description, SCP-062 appeared to be running an unknown operating system visually similar to OS-2 with an unknown language, later identified to have strong similarities to that of the Voyage manuscript. Attempts at deciphering that contained data are ongoing. On date, <laughs> description, SCP-062 appeared to be running <laughs> in French. Contained data confirmed to be that of a standard foundation workstation, though the site indicated by its location data, site <laughs> does not exist. Investigation is ongoing. Description. SCP-062 appeared to be running Apple OS X in what appears to be Acadian cuneiform script. Contained data appears to be composed mainly of religious texts and descriptions of ritual and ceremonial procedures. On date. <laughs> description. Investigation is ongoing as to how the virus managed to compromise three workstations and one file server before SCP-062 was forcibly shut down. All affected workstations have been isolated. So it's a computer that can go wherever it wants, whenever it wants, anywhere. It knows every system and every language. Almost makes you want to buy one, doesn't it? I'm Walt, the most gangster nerd on YouTube, and I'll be seeing you soon enough.